Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of what Indians are all about. I still say we Indian people are believers in the truth. This is the way of life that was given to your people. You born an Indian, you're going to die an Indian. Indianness is a good life. You're facing an Indian this afternoon. Good afternoon out there, everyone, and welcome to your number one source for Native American television news, Native News Today. I'm your host, Jason Salzman, as we bring you a special episode this week. We are going to get right to it with this year's 2015 Miss and Junior Miss Muscogee Creek Nation Scholarship Pageant. What a night it was at the Dome last Saturday. All the beauty, the elegance, the young ladies doing a fantastic job representing our tribe, vying to become the next ambassadors of this nation and now without further ado as an exclusive here on Native News Today we want to show you that ceremony uh, to make memories you know if you weren't had, didn't have a chance to go this is for you to have a chance to see how it all went down if you were there if you were one of uh, the participants this is a chance to see yourself on TV so we love being able to bring you this and we will do that right now
take a quick opportunity to get a break while we can. I hope you're enjoying watching the 2015 scholarship pageant from the Muskogee Creek Nation. We're going to take just a few moments and we'll be right back with the rest of the ceremony. We believe if you teach a man to fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. We believe that transitioning convicted citizens back into our communities enhances public safety. We believe that every citizen, even ex-prisoners, are important and are capable of change. We believe in reclaiming our citizens and investing them back into a culture that embraces healing and restoration. We believe in reintegration. I pledge to embrace and educate offenders in an effort to stop their abuse. I pledge to all women to love them, protect them, and teach them that violence does not belong in our communities and is not our tradition. I pledge to take full responsibility for myself and the women and children of the Muscogee Nation. I pledge to work courageously and audibly to fulfill this pledge for the rest of my life. I think like creatively I was just into drawing for a long time, like ever since I was a kid. It wasn't until maybe around late 2007, 2008 that I became aware of uh, the graffiti scene. It, it changed everything for me. You don't even really understand in the beginning what kind of journey it's going to take you on, but I think that in order to become great at what you do, it really, it really boils down to how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your own artistic creativity and your own expression. You know, I, I just, I think it, be, it comes from like a belief in oneself and pushing yourself to the limits as far as you can take it. It was life changing. All the travel, building character, teaching culture, it's been an honor. Quite an honor. Your 2014-2015 Miss and Junior Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. Ladies, take your final walk. This is Principal Chief George Tiger of the Muskogee Creek Nation. You don't want to miss the crowning of our new Muskogee Creek Nation Goodwill Ambassadors. Looking for your next 18-hole adventure? Then take a look at Fountainhead Creek Golf Club. Nestled in the beautiful confines of Lake Eufaula State Park, large sloping greens and well-placed bunkers characterize the Muskogee Creek Nation's Floyd Farley design course and offers a fine test of skill for any golfer. Stay up on all the latest gear and equipment with a visit to our pro shop. Have lunch at the turn at the Clubhouse Grill. We're waiting to accommodate you at Fountainhead Creek. Give us a call at 918-689-3209 or visit FountainheadGolf.com to book your next round. Fountainhead Creek Golf Club, close to home, far from ordinary. Oh my goodness. All right, yes, please, everybody sit down. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> um, fortunately, I am a little hoarse this evening, and also a little unfortunate. I am too short to be standing behind this podium. So. I'll delete this here. And then I have a few more extra remarks for some of the people who've really helped make this last year great. So, Hinchche Stongo, Ribbon Nogosi Hega Watson, Cheho Jefkaros. Hello, how are you? My name is River Nogosi Hega Watson, and I am the 2014 2015 Junior Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. 
Thank you all for coming to our pageant this evening, where we will be welcoming a new young woman to hold this title, and where I will be resigning mine. <clears throat> the year I had as Junior Miss was such a blessing. I got to meet so many honorable people and see countless incredible sights. Thank you to all my chaperones for making all the trips and events a wonderful and safe time. To the people on the pageant committee, thank you for your support this year. You guys have been have created an amazing opportunity for the women of our tribe to show their worth and become a positive role model for others. Thank you to my mother Randy and my father Julian. You two were the ones who really pushed me to run last year and I owe all of my success within my reign to you two and I love you both with all my heart. Thank you to my tribe for graciously welcoming me to any event I was asked to appear. I was not quite expecting how I would feel as an ambassador of the nation, but I am very honored and proud to say that I have been one. My people are my heart, and I hope that I have served you well. There are numerous people that I would like to personally thank, but I would feel terrible if I went to sleep tonight and realized that I would left someone out. Just know that if you helped me run last year for the pageant or throughout this past year with my, within my reign, I am thankful for you too. I have fond memories. Well, the biggest question that everybody's been asking me is if I'm going to be sad to resign my title. And I tell them that I have so many fond memories of this year that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life. So how could I be sad? I'm so excited for the next young woman who gets to take my place, and I wish her the best of luck as she goes through an experience of a lifetime. Oh, whoa. whoa. Whoa, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to uh, confuse you guys. <laughs> now, I would like to thank my chaperones this year for taking me where I needed to go and bringing me back safely. Thank you, Billy, for getting us everywhere on time. Although I think when we show up to pageants three hours ahead of time, it would be impossible to miss anything. Thank you, Luann, for being an awesome chaperone and whipping Brittany and I into action when we would procrastinate. I've had so much fun with you, and I'm very honored to have had your help this year. You took care of me like a mother would, and I will always be trying to make you proud. Thank you, Nancy, for making the long trips to and from Colorado and New Mexico the last times where I could remember laughing until I cried. You were a blessing on your own. I would also like to thank Brittany and her family for helping me any way you possibly could. I've learned so much from you all, and I'm grateful for your support and friendship. Thank you all very much for coming. Meadow. Hishjay Stongo, Chahajifka, Brittany Morgan Hildos, Momen, Lee Gachka Talova Lagedos, Isti Muskogogi, Momen, Ihanktua Dakota, Omas, Amadalegida, Ijogidos, Momen, Ufology, Amadwojidos, Chuchgogi, Levi Hill, Momen, Debbie Hill, Omagan, Chubazogi, Saya Hill, Momen, Elizabeth Phillips Hill, Domagis. Hello, how's everyone doing this evening? My name is Brittany Morgan Hill, and I am the 2014-2015 Miss Muscogee Creek Nation. And at first, I just want to welcome each and every one of you to this 2015 Miss and Junior Miss Muscogee Creek Nation pageant. And um, I just want to say that you honor us with your presence today. Let's give, but first, let's give a round of applause to all the contestants. They're doing a great job. This has truly been one of the best years of my life. I have had the opportunity to travel extensively throughout the state and outside of it, and I have learned about who I am and who I want to be as a young Muscogee woman. I have not only met and made new friendships, I have also learned about other dignitaries, cultures, and traditions native to, to other tribes throughout the nation. First and foremost, I would like to thank my parents and my family. Thank you for everything that you have and continue to do for me. This journey would not have been possible without you. From driving me from, to all my different appearances all over the state, to making sure my crown was straight, to putting up with me during my princess moments, I just want to say thank you and um, thank you for, to my dad. He um, has always been a big supporter of me, and um, he was the reason. He was the reason that I chose to run 
for this title to, um, <laughs> sorry, to um, honor him because he's um, full blood Muscogee Creek and um, I just thought that I wanted to honor him in this way and so And um, I would like to thank my um, mom. She's been the backbone of me and my family. And um, she's always been there for me and supported me and encouraged me. And um, I couldn't be who I am or what I do without her. And um, I just want to say thank you. And to my sisters for putting up with me and my brother-in-law and my nephews for coming out tonight. It means the most to me. And I would like to say Mado to the citizens of the great Muscogee Creek Nation for allowing me to represent you this past year. Throughout my reign, I have been blessed with wonderful words of encouragement, friendships, and gestures. I would like to say a special Mado to Chief Tiger and First Lady Francis for showing me so much love and support and encouragement from the very beginning. I would like to thank my amazing chaperones Luann, Nancy, Billy, for everything that they have done for us, for River and I, for taking us all over, and for just making the most out of, out of this year. And um, we've, I know River and I have had a lot of fun, and uh, I was kind of worried that they would show some of our crazy karaoke ride, car rides, <laughs> but I'm glad they didn't. Um, it has been my privilege and honor to serve as an ambassador for the fourth largest federally recognized tribe in the United States. And this is something that I will always carry with me for the rest of my life. The Creator blessed me with the opportunity to share my reign with a beautiful and talented junior miss. And it has been my pleasure to serve alongside River. And I wish her nothing but the best in all that she does and all her future endeavors. I want to congratulate all the Miss and Junior Miss Muscogee Creek Nation contestants for having the courage and drive to share yourself and your Muscogee culture with us. I know you will represent our Muscogee people to the best of your ability. I want to wish the new title holders a fabulous, fulfilling, and exciting year. And I know River and I are leaving, leaving you guys in the best of hands. Through the Creator, all things are possible. And for every end is a new beginning. And I just want to say safe travels and blessings to everyone who came out tonight, all the dignitaries and visiting royalty. Thank you guys so much for coming. And Mado, Kadam Chiyadakis. Thank you. This will be for the Miss Congeniality Award. And the winner is Mackenzie Lauffer. Junior Miss, runner-up, Miss Lizzie Barnett. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, your Junior Miss from Skokie Creek Nation 2015-2016 is Madeline Gouge.
Now to the Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. Miss Muskogee Creek Nation runner-up. Should the Miss not be able to fulfill her reign, our runner-up will assume those duties. And the runner-up of Miss Muskogee Creek Nation 2015-2016 is Sean Day Dunsey. Now to complete our awards, your 2015-2016 Muskogee Creek Nation is Miss Shannon Barnett. is 2015-2016 Miss Muskogee Creek Nation. There they are, your Miss and Junior Miss, 2015-2016 Muskogee Creek Nation. Give them a hand. It's really, I've just been waiting for this for about two years. And just the excitement, just like from the switch, that is just crazy. It's overwhelming. Just, you don't know what to expect, like you don't know what to say, you're just like, wow, I did it. All that time and effort you put toward it just paid off. You have to work hard for it. It's not just something like, you know a few words, you have to say something. It, when you go on stage, it, it gets nervous, but you just gotta stay calm and Meeting the other girls is just amazing. You get to know them, it's just like making another family. It's a blessing. I'm looking forward to the bonding and the learning experience that I'll get about more of our culture that I probably don't even know. I'm so excited, it's been such a long day. I just have to thank the pageant committee for all the hard work they did at the Royalty Retreat and today, pageant day. I wanna be a teacher, so I look forward to visiting a lot of schools and talking to them. I just wanted to get the chance to represent and promote my platform, which is uh, preserving Muskogee culture. I think that's really important. I just wanted the opportunity to do that. I feel like it just, it gives you a confidence that you didn't have before and you just, you feel so relieved when you've done it and proud of yourself. Well, there you have it, the 2015 Muskogee Creek Nation Miss and Junior Miss Muskogee Creek Nation Scholarship Pageant. Congratulations to the participants, the ladies that won, but also all the ladies. You know, it takes a lot to get up there and put yourself out there in such a way to where there's a bunch of people watching you and there's a spotlight and you've got, uh, you know, traditional dress on and you're wanting to really do 
wonderful things with your culture and things like that. So it's, it's difficult for all of them. And, and they're all winners in my book, every single one that gets up there and wants to do this. So big kudos to all of the participants, all the people that put it together, the pageant committee, a shout out to everybody that made this year's pageant work. Well, I want to give a shout out to my crew too as well. We were there that night getting all the footage, getting everything put together. We certainly hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, the labor and uh, the labor from all of my staff really there. Uh, you can see the hard work that goes into it. So it's great. I want to thank all the people that made that happen, all the great people working behind the scenes, the festival, uh, festival committee. Uh, there's a lot of employees that make that up and do a fantastic job with that, making it a big, big event. Also want to give a big shout out to all the participants, not only the winners, all the participants for uh, stepping up, putting themselves out there and wanting to be ambassadors of this nation. Uh, we are in good hands with our youth doing activities like this and wanting to represent our tribe. Well, I want to thank you again for watching this program. I want to thank all the people that put it together. My staff here at Native News Today doing a fantastic job putting those things together as well. So. Without further ado, if you want to check that out, go to our YouTube channel, go to our Facebook, go to our Twitter. You can see us all throughout the week on social media, interact with us uh, before Saturdays and Sundays. So I want to see you guys next Saturday, next Sunday, right here, same time for Native News Today, your number one source for Native American television news.